The title of Mike Stern's new album Trip offers a revealing clue about the guitarist's resilience in the face of extreme adversity. In early July last year, while running errands the day before jetting off to Europe for a tour, Stern was crossing a Manhattan street trying to hail a cab when a hidden pile of construction debris sent him sprawling to the pavement. With the humorous bones in both arms broken he was clearly out of commission, but when his hands suffered nerve damage from the accident Stern's reign as one of the most prodigious jazz-slash-rock guitarists on the scene seemed to be coming to an end. But he wasn't ready to put down his axe. Some ten weeks after the accident Stern was back at his regular local gig at 55 Bar, and by the end of October he felt confident enough to join Chick Corea at the Blue Note in New York for an all-star tribute to their former employer, Miles Davis. The crazy thing is, judging by Trip, his fifth release on the all-too-aptly named label Heads Up, Stern sounds as electrifying as ever, with his trademark sweet and searing tone and bebop-inflected syntax. This despite the fact he's had to undergo several tendon transfers just to enable him to bring his fingers together, while his right hand is frozen in an ulnar claw from the nerve damage. I'm still a kind of work in progress, says Stern, 64, who brings an all-star quartet to Cuma in Santa Cruz and Yoshi's in Oakland next week. The main thing is you've got to keep going. You can't let depression get you if you can. Sometimes it's not possible to avoid it, but I've got to keep rocking. Thank God it sounds better than it feels. Stern might have bad days, but just like he dubbed his first post-accident album with a triple entendre he's clearly relying on his wry sense of humor, which comes through clearly via trip tune titles like Screws and Scotch Tape and Glue. The latter adhesive is actually a key ingredient in his return to the bandstand. When news of the accident quickly spread on the musician's grapevine, Stern heard from numerous players who also had suffered various health setbacks. Ray Levier, a drummer who found a way to continue performing after suffering devastating injuries in a fire, gave him some hard-earned advice. He said try wig glue, and it worked, Stern says. That's what I use to hold a pick. Whatever challenges Stern faces, his bandmates certainly aren't cutting him any slack. For this West Coast tour, he's traveling with an incomparable quartet drawn from the expansive cast of 17 musicians who join him in various combinations throughout Trip's 11 tracks, all written by Stern, an underrated composer. The rhythm section tandem features bassist Tom Kennedy and drummer Dave Wickel, players who grew up together in street. Lewis and went on to work with everyone from Chick Corea and Stern to Dave Grusin and Lee Rittenauer, while also recording various albums of their own. The senior member of the band is trumpet great Randy Brecker, a jazz-slash-rock fusion pioneer who helped create the sound that caught Stern's ear in the mid-1970s. Mike is amazing, says Brecker, 72.